Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra if you're new here and I love all things crafty and cozy. So we all want to have the best summer possible filled with memories of different places we went, new things that we tried, and long sunny days. And with us already being a month into summer, I was thinking about different hobbies and activities that I wanted my summer to be filled with. So if you're needing some inspiration for a new hobby or a fun activity, stick around because I'm going to be sharing 15 things that you need to try this summer. So our first summer hobby is scrapbooking or journaling. If you don't do either of these things already, I feel like summer is the perfect time to start because you can document all the vacations you went on and all the fun things that you did. I personally didn't start journaling until January of this year, but I'm so glad that I did. It's really nice to be able to look back and remember different things that happened, especially the small things that I probably would have forgotten about if I didn't write it down. I think one thing that really intimidated me before I started journaling was putting the pressure on myself that I had to journal every single day or else I failed. So what I've done now is replace that pressure of you have to journal every single day with journal if there's something you want to remember. So now sometimes I still journal daily, but I also might journal weekly or monthly. And that just takes the pressure off. I have so much fun printing out pictures from that day or that trip. I add in tickets. I also like adding in stickers, tearing up pieces of scrapbook paper, or just adding in little extras that really make the page pop. Whenever I'm writing, I'll write down the different things that we did that day, where we went, the food that we ate, how I was feeling, maybe songs we listened to, just anything that can really create a vivid picture of that day. I can make a whole separate video talking about my scrapbooking and journaling process. So if that's something that you would be interested in, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to do a video on that. But if you're not journaling or scrapbooking, that's something you need to try this summer. So our second summer hobby is watercoloring. I feel like watercoloring gives such a soft, pretty, and blended look, and it's perfect for the summertime. It's also really portable and easy to bring along with you, especially if you get one of those little watercolor brushes that have the water stored inside. I'll pop up some pictures for some inspiration, but imagine taking a nice little walk and you sit down at the park or the lake, and you pull out your little backpack that has your little watercolor set and your brush, and you just paint the pretty scenery around you. Or you're out on your front porch and it's warm and there's a nice breeze and you're just sitting there painting some ice cream or watermelon. I just think that watercolor is such a fun hobby to try and it's something that's super easy to start in the summer. The third cozy hobby that you need to try this summer is reading. Reading is such a good way to relax and escape from our very stressful world. Last year, I really got back into reading and I feel like I have not stopped since. I have a million books that are on my TBR behind me, so I think that's probably a sign that I need to stop buying new books. But once you start reading, it really just draws you in. Reading in the summer is always so nice too because it's warm outside so you can sit out on the porch or lay out a little blanket and grab your iced tea or in my case, Diet Dr. Pepper and just escape into another little world. Our fourth summer activity that you need to try this summer is going on a picnic. I absolutely love this idea because I think it's such a nice way to romanticize something that we do daily. You can find a field or a park or even in your backyard. Pack up your blanket, get some sandwiches, throw some chips in there, pack some fruit and of course some lemonade and then just sit outside and enjoy eating in the sun. I feel like this is just such a sweet thing to do and can help you enjoy things in your day-to-day -day life. It's really easy to get in the habit of running through a drive-through or getting fast food or just trying to do things really quickly. And this is just a nice way to slow down and enjoy the little things in your summer. Our next summer activity is to have a summery photo shoot. This could involve you taking pictures of summery things like the pool, the beach, ice cream, watermelon, the sunset, or other cute and colorful summery things. You could also set up a tripod and have pictures taken of you, your friends, your family. And this is just such a nice way to document your summer. And then you can add it into your journal that you're gonna be starting this year. Our next summer activity is gardening. I think that gardening is such a rewarding hobby because you put in the effort, you plant something, you take care of it every day, and then you have something pretty to show for it. One thing that I really wanna do this year is plant wildflowers for a cut flower garden. Wildflowers give such a whimsical and pretty look, and I love that you can just kind of plant them anywhere and then they'll come up. If you're clueless on how to plant or garden like I am, 
Thankfully, the internet has tons of tutorials and videos on how to take care of and plant certain plants. So I was doing a little bit of research and looked up some beginner flowers that are supposedly really hard to kill. So if you're looking to try planting this year, maybe try some zinnias or cosmos, petunias, marigolds, and sunflowers. Supposedly, these are really easy to take care of, but I definitely do not know. That's just what the internet says, so kind of take that as you want. But gardening is also one of those hobbies where you have to have some patience. This year, my husband and I planted some boxwood bushes in front of our house and silly Kyra was thinking that by next year they'd be four foot tall and like this big around. Well, wrong. So apparently they take six to seven years to reach full growth. So we'll be waiting for a while. But anyway, I feel like planting and gardening is such a nice summary thing to try. Our seventh hobby to try this summer is crocheting. There are so many cute things you can make once you learn how to crochet. I've seen a lot of people make crochet coasters, the little cup cozies, keychains, bags, the little bandanas you can tie in your hair. There's just so many cute things you can make. I feel like anything crocheted automatically reminds me of summer because it kind of gives that breezy and beachy feel. I am currently in the process of learning how to crochet and we still got a ways to go, but I have some of the main stitches down now. One of the first things that I definitely want to make once I learn is this little crochet bees. I think that those are so adorable. Like look how cute this is. You cannot tell me that this is not cute. I want to be able to make little things like this, but I got this at the last craft show I was at, which if you're interested in seeing any behind the scenes content of craft show prep, be sure to check out my last video. But anyway, I just think that these little crochet animals are adorable and will be one of the first things that I make. And supposedly they're not that bad to make, so we'll find out whenever I learn a little bit more, but Crocheting is something you should definitely try this summer. Our next summer activity is rock painting. While looking on Pinterest, I saw a ton that they painted like little ladybugs and bees. There were also a lot of animal themed ones, food themed ones, just a ton of cute ideas on there. You could even paint words on them or paint them like different themed fruits, just anything really. As I was doing some research online, it seems like acrylic paint or outdoor paint works the best. And one website said, if you're wanting to do some fine details to take like a little paint marker and make things a little easier. This is something that I'm personally going to try out this summer and then I'm gonna put them in our flower bed just to add a little extra pop of cuteness. Our ninth summer activity that you need to do this summer is make a summer playlist. We all have those songs that we hear and we instantly think of summertime. You can compile a huge playlist of all of those songs that you can play throughout the summer to really just set the vibe for your perfect summer. So we made it to number 10 and our 10th summer activity to try is going to your local fair or summer festival. Summertime is usually when a lot of towns or cities will have a local fair or some kind of summer outdoor event. I personally enjoy going to the fair for the food. I'll get a big elephant ear or funnel cake with some powdered sugar sprinkled on top and it's just chef's kiss. Most fairs typically have some form of live music, carnival games or rides, animals, ferris wheel. So if you're ever bored, be sure to check around you and see when your local fair is. Our 11th summer activity to try is bracelet making. I feel like summer is the prime time to wear beaded or braided bracelets. I actually have some on now, these little beaded bracelets that I pair with my watch. When I see bracelets like that, I just instantly think of the beach. Every year we always go on vacation and I'll get a new bracelet and then I literally lose it that summer, every single time. This year I actually bought this bracelet making kit. And so I'm gonna make a bunch of bracelets that I can stack on both wrists and pair with my watch. And it's just gonna be a fun time. I think it's fun to make some that have words on them, using different beads together. It's just a good summer activity to try and you should definitely do that this summer. So our next summer activity is to have a pool day. What is summer without going to the pool? Whether it's getting in your own pool or going to your local community pool, it's always so nice to get in the water on those really hot summer days. You can make a whole day out of it by packing some snacks, bringing a book with you, and just switching between laying in the water and laying out in the sun. Our next summer activity that you need to do this summer is to make s'mores. I feel like s'mores have come a long way. We were just at the store yesterday and they have marshmallows filled with chocolate. They also had marshmallows that were shaped like a square so it fit on your graham cracker a little bit better. I just feel like they're really improving the process of making s'mores. You know it's officially summer when you roast that first marshmallow. 
Our 14th summer activity is going hiking. Summer is the perfect time to get out in nature and really enjoy being outside. You could find a local trail in your area or even take a little weekend trip. Thankfully, I live in an area where there's tons of pretty scenery and outdoor trails, and it's always so nice to just disconnect and enjoy God's beautiful creation. Okay, so we finally made it to number 15 and our last summer activity that you need to try this summer is going to a concert, whether that be an indoor concert or an outdoor concert. But I feel like if you can go to an outdoor concert, that's like prime summer experience. There are normally a ton of outdoor music festivals going on in the summer whether they be close to you or you have to drive a little bit. You could also attend the concerts at your fair, like I was talking about earlier. It doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere far away from you, but I feel like it's a staple to fill your summer with some kind of music. Okay, so those were 15 summer activities and hobbies that I will personally be trying this summer. I hope that you guys got some inspiration and found some that you would like to try out as well. Leave me a comment down below what hobby or activity that you will be trying this summer and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video from me. I will see you guys next Friday for a new video. Bye.